Uh, did, did you win a state championship in high school? No. Okay, so no state championship. No. There was no SEC title. No. No Super Bowl. No. But you do have a championship ring. I do. From the Tampa Bay Storm of the Arena League, 1991 the, World Champions. Now, now early 90s, that was kind of like the – that was, Arena Bowl was a big deal, right? I mean, big crowds. That's right. It was Arena Bowl five, and I know that because it's on the side of my ring. Okay. How often do you wear that ring? I never, I've never worn it, but it. You're makes, not proud of it. I am proud of it. It was a fun time. Okay. And I still talk to some of my teammates. So you were the starting quarterback. I was on not. A... I was not the starting quarterback. I backup? was the backup. Okay. Jay Gruden, who was recently the head coach of the Redskins. Was right. our starting quarterback. Washington football team. Washington football team. Yeah, sorry. And he had a really good career in arena football. <laughs> yeah, hey, Dad, giggling. He, he's probably still got a lot of records in arena football. Yeah. But we were the first uh, year in Tampa, and okay. we played where the Devil Rays play now. And they didn't have a baseball team. so it we was had all, a, It was terrible then. We had a brand new. It was brand new. Oh, so it was nice. And it was brand new. And um, we had 25,000, 30,000 fans at our games. Really? It was. I mean, that's like four it, Tampa Bay baseball games. Yeah, it was. It was fun to watch in person. All right, so you, you played some. I held on field goals and extra points. Okay. And uh, we were playing Orlando, um, in the first playoff game I think that year, and we were in a fake field goal, and I threw a touchdown pass, the only pass I threw all the season. I but mean, it was a touchdown. I mean, I think they changed the rule. You can't fake field goals now. But in the arena league, in the arena league, huh. but we beat Detroit Drive for the championship. So, so they had to year. change a, a rule because of you, because yeah. of your exploits, because of your greatness, because of that play. I think, yeah. yeah. Uh, Ceasefire text line. We got a, a few people. I, I asked Kate Dad about his favorite John Darnell moment. Yeah. We get uh, one on here that says the Tulane game. Yeah. So what yeah. Was, Tulane eighty nine? What are we talking about? Well, we we scored at like four seconds to go to win. Okay. Uh, Rich Jebby, I caught a touchdown pass of four seconds to go. Um, and we were, you know, looked like the Rebels were down and out. Um, but we got was the ball back. Game or was this at the This Dome was in the Wars? Superdome. Okay. And um, I can't remember if it was the week after we beat Georgia here or we beat Georgia the next week. But kind of the same thing happened the next week. Went down to the wire. We scored right at the end to beat Georgia. It was an exciting year. Yeah. And um, we had several games go down to the wire and – some didn't turn out so good. Bart in Columbus on the C Spire text line, 601-879-4395, suggested I should ask you about the Heisman vote that you received. <laughs> All these good stories are coming up. I mean, they are. You don't, you don't is, open like, up We're supposed like to be talking about the Egg Bowl, but this uh, is way too good. Yeah, this is a story I don't really like telling a whole lot, but it's really a long story. But I, I thank Chuck Roundsville for getting me in this uh, mess right here. Um, was Chuck a Heisman voter? No, but he got the. I think I told Chuck at practice one day about it, and then it was history from then. Oh, you know, oh, it would be, it would be like right. in the media guide. It would have like 1985, my high school stats, did not play, and you know, for Ole Miss, and in '86 it would be like seven for nine in the spring game with a touchdown, did not play. Okay, and then in '87, uh, you know. 12 for 15 in the spring game, ran a touchdown, um, did not play for Ole Miss, but got a Heisman Trophy vote. You know, that was like an immediate guy. Do you know Chuck. Where, from, from where that I vote do. came? I do. It's a long story, but a friend of mine I went to high school with, um, his dad got into some federal trouble. Okay. And uh, ended, up, ended up in, uh, in prison right. with a guy named Billy Cannon who had won the Heisman Trophy. And when it came time to vote for the Heisman Trophy. Former he, winners get a vote. They get a vote. He let no. He let my the guy I went to high school with, I'm not going to mention his name on here. Um, okay. But he let him vote. And so he wrote my name in. And honest to goodness, I had not seen him in 20-something years. I ran into him at Ole Miss Basketball. You game. got Billy Cannon's Heisman vote. I did. And <laughs> that I, is fantastic! Story. Wow, that's an incredible I had, story. I had to confirm it. I had to confirm it several years ago. I ran Did you into talk him. to Billy about it after the fact? No, but 
Okay. Another part of that story was I got an autographed picture from him that said, I voted for you. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> Please tell <laughs> no, me that like, that's yeah. framed and like on your office it is. wall. It is. It that's is. fantastic. And uh, but anyway, I ran into this friend of mine several years ago at an Ole Miss basketball game, and I looked at him, and he looked at me, and I was like, "I gotta know, was that story, was it true?" And because um, it had been so long ago, and he says it was true. He goes, "But I didn't vote you for the first. I didn't give you the first. Not place a vote. first place vote. You voted for Bo Jackson first. Jeez. Anyway, I what a front runner. I know." But um, it's, you know. I, I, I do feel like I need to read this one. Um, this is about John Darnell, the heartthrob. Oh, uh, Todd in Tupelo says, my sister-in-law is a huge Ole Miss fan and has always said she would have left her husband for John. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you, Todd. Thank your sister. <laughs> <That's> you. <laughs> but cut that uh, out right there. Thank yeah. you, Todd. Thank your sister. <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty good stuff. Sure, that's you got the right stuff. person. Uh, that's good stuff. Um, I mean, we're just I need to change my. Uh, I need to change my answer. By the way, since John said he started the last five games of the '87 season, clearly oh, my favorite yeah. John Dar- Darnell yeah. movie m- moment yeah. is the '87. I'm sorry, you're, you're breaking up, hey, Dad. Yeah. I, I can't yeah. hear you. I, I'm Man. having trouble. Yeah, you're not coming down a lot. Hey, uh, I, I want to ask you an Egg Bowl memory in just a second, but this says there's a uh, a Chris Carter Minnesota Vikings story you should also tell. Man, I tell you what, I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm gonna find out who all send that in. I'm gonna get y'all for this. I promise. Um, well, we, we talked about the one-day tryout that I had with the Minnesota Vikings. Mm-hmm. I left Oxford one early morning. I think that there. was off the air. Oh, yeah. Well, their quarterback got hurt like in 1990. Okay. I was a graduate assistant here. They brought some guys in. I was one of them. And I went up there for a one-day tryout with the Vikings. They picked me up at the airport, took me to the Minnesota Vikings thing. We dressed out. We went out there to throw. And Chris Carter was – it was a Tuesday, so they were already mad. They had to come in. It was their off day. Mm. And my first pass was to Chris Carter. And he runs like a little quick slant, and I threw it out there. to hit him right in the ankle. I promise. <laughs> he never he never even tried to catch it. He, he just he just kept running to the other side of the field and got back in line. And I thought, well, I'm, I'm history. I'm done. That's a- and I was back in Oxford before dark. So that was my <laughs> that was my one NFL um Besides going to NFL Combine and was, was that the know, time at which Mike Lynn owned the, he the did. Vikings? He did. And um you know, it was it was, you know, a good experience, but evidently I told that story to somebody because they, they text you about it. That's good. That um was, that's that's true. Uh let's see here. Thanks for the effort, Chris. Appreciate Coach it. uh Coach Smilly. I think that would be Smiley. Smiley? Okay. Well, I didn't. Okay. Somebody yeah. misspelled. Asked John about Coach Smiley, and that comes from Coach Buddy Hall in New Albany. Well, Coach Smiley was my high school baseball coach. Um, a really good coach. Learned a lot from him. Enjoyed playing for him. Um, from Brooklyn, New York. Um, you know, so we did things a little different, but, um, you know, a great experience. And, we almost won a state championship in baseball, high school baseball, but we lost in 14 innings to Pete Young of Macomb. Pitched all 14 innings. And our guy, Terry Goggins, pitched all 14 innings. It was a great game. Got beat 4-3. to three.